Even the, the, the pores on her skin, she looks... Is she soft or is she hard? My name is Erika. It's a pleasure to meet you. Japan just delivered fully performing female robots. Japan has been at the forefront of robotics technology and has amazed the world with its robotics innovation for many years. Seven out of the ten world's leading industrial robotics companies are housed in Japan. Let's find out more about the state of robotics in the world robot capital. A world leader. Japan has the highest density of robot workers in the world. The market for service robotics is thriving, including the field of senior care. The country is the powerhouse of technologies such as machine vision, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. These technologies are vital for the development of effective robotic hardware. The country's industrial robot makers have produced more than 50% of robots supplied in 2017, which is 39% more than the year earlier. There is no doubt that Japan is the spearhead in the field of industrial robotics as it is the number one exporter for robots in terms of shipments and number of operating units. The country also remains the testing ground for new applications of robotics. Companies such as Kawasaki, Fanuc, OTC Daihan, Epson, Denso, and Mitsubishi are driving the development of industrial robotics in the country. Furthermore, Japan is one of the world's leading hubs for startup and the tech ecosystem. Thus, investments have been flowing into the country seamlessly. The scenario outside Japan. The demand for robotics in places such as China, the USA, and Europe has been thriving because of the establishment of public and private sector robotics projects. While the Internet of Things, or IoT, has played a major role in shaping up the robotics space in Europe and the USA, the global demand for robotics surged over the years and is still robust. The installed robotics units are projected to grow annually by over 15% between 2018 and 2020. China is betting on industrial robotics to boost quality and productivity because of high labor cost and intense global competition with its counterparts. The country has become the top nation globally to acquire industrial robots. After Japan, South Korea is the next robotics hotbed since it had the world's highest robot density since 2010. The country's density is greater than the global average with 631 robots per 100,000 human workers. The country will be filled with over 8 million people aged above 65 years. Therefore, robots are viewed as a catalyst to assist elders. The concept has received a positive response from the government including funding from companies such as Hyundai Heavy Industries, SK Telecom, and Robostar. The Ubiquity of Japan's Robots Japan's tech companies, research institutions, and other entities partner and work together to deploy the country's cutting-edge robotics in a wide range of sectors. The country's robots also have the capability to be used in space exploration. The Japanese government spurred the development and application of disaster response robots after the earthquake and tsunami in 2011. The Department of Precision Engineering at the University of Tokyo School of Engineering are working on robots that can be operated in inclement weather and extreme environments. The sole purpose of the development is to train the robots to go into adverse environments which are difficult for humans to enter, capture images, and collect information. Another Vital Segment Medical robots is another vital segment. The Japanese government is betting on the development and dissemination of medical equipment that utilizes robotics technology. The robots will cut the burden of both medical professionals and patients alike, for example, surgery assistant robots. While the Department of Mechanical Engineering at the Tokyo School of Engineering is testing robots for medicine and industrial processing, the team is currently conducting research and development on robot-assisted surgery. Japanese companies leading from the front line. A Tokyo-based firm called Connected Robotics has developed automated food robots. The first robot, OctoChef, makes a famous Japanese cuisine known as takoyaki, while the second robot, Rita, serves ice cream. The firm secured a $7.8 million Series A funding in 2019. It is expected to fulfill the firm's ambitions towards the launch of products such as an automated dishwasher robot and an automated breakfast cooking robot. The world's first robot capable of tidying up a room was launched by Preferred Networks. The startup is valued at $2 billion and is also one of the highest valued startups in Japan. The firm's newer robotic endeavors are powered by ML and AI. The house cleaning robot has the capability to clean rooms with commands and instructions and can recognize 300 household items through machine vision.
The robot intelligently selects and puts away belongings. SoftBank's subsidiary, SoftBank Robotics, operates an independent startup that is famous for creating an emotion-reading robot, Pepper. Pyrotherapeutic is a firm that has launched a medical robot specifically designed to stimulate patients suffering from ailments such as dementia, Alzheimer's, and other cognitive disorders. The robot responds to the owner's voice and interactions. Data has revealed that this type of robots are effective towards both loneliness and dementia therapy. According to Citi, Japan's Fanuc and Europe's ABB control nearly three-quarters of China's industrial robot market. Mira Robotics is considered one of the best robot makers in Japan. The company's Ugo robot is a top-notch product. Ugo, which is developed to cater to the country's shrinking workforce, is equipped with a pair of height-adjustable industrial arms mounted on wheels. The $1,000 robot can be used to safeguard office buildings, carry out inspections, and clean toilets and other areas inside an office. Ugo is capable of eliminating viruses on elevator buttons and door handles through ultraviolet light. Apart from that, it can record the temperature of the premises. It'll be interesting to see how the robot is effectively utilized. Weathering COVID-19 with Robots Japan has deployed sterilizing robots for disinfecting airplanes and hospitals, while delivery robots have carried out contactless delivery seamlessly and avatar robots are standing in for university students at graduation. The sterilizing robots use ultraviolet light. Ori Laboratories, Tokyo-based robotics, launched a desktop communications robot called Ori Hime Biz. The robot is used by children with physical impairments to virtually attend classes. Furthermore, a teacher suffering from amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS, has used the robot to attend his student's graduation ceremony. The company has also developed avatar robots for people working at home during the lockdown due to the pandemic. However, the robots can also be utilized by people suffering from chronic health conditions. What does the future hold? Japan's robotic segment has a bright future as the Japanese government and businesses are betting on automation to assist the economy, contributing to a national enthusiasm for robots. Furthermore, Japan is a great example to many economies in terms of the successful implementation of technology. The Japanese robotic segment is poised to remain the best in the world in terms of innovation and sustainability. The majority of the Japanese population have ample knowledge about robotics and therefore should not be a problem for the future generation to adapt to the robotic environment. Robots are expected to play a pivotal role in assisting the workforce. The government is experimenting with robots in the elder care segment for both patients and workers. The robotic can be found in the country, like hotels and cafes, which is an inspiration to the rest of the world. Global economies, other than Japan, must embrace robotics. However, it depends upon the approach of individual nations towards robotics. There are pros and cons to robots. However, the effective deployment of robots will assist human beings and make life easier. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.